combating human trafficking and protecting intellectual property rights. The police force's newest unit, the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Investigation Branch, helping to secure GOJ's strategic priority number three, security and justice. The Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Investigation Branch, CTOC, was formed earlier this year. And 35-year veteran of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Assistant Commissioner of Police Devon Watkiss, was put in charge of the new branch. In essence, upgrades the Organized Crime Investigation Division that was known to the public. We also have CTOC Special Ops and Special Projects which really is a flying squad retaining all the functions that it had before. As a result, CTOC now has responsibility for several of the JCF's investigative units. They include those responsible for counter-terrorism, as well as anti-gang and transnational crimes. So you may see Jamaicans having a network stressing from South Africa to Jamaica. So we have that responsibility. CTOC also incorporates the work of the units responsible for forensic and cyber crimes, stolen motor vehicle and major robberies, financial and fraudulent crimes. We are responsible for the technological side of the investigation. We focus on serious fraud investigations. Intelligence and covert evidence gathering, anti-trafficking in persons and intellectual property are also now under the umbrella of CTOC. The JCF's new counter-terrorism and organized crime investigation branch's ultimate goal is to strengthen Jamaica's security framework and effectively combat terrorism and organized crime in all forms. The workload is huge, but the team at CTOC is not daunted. They operate from a covert location with their reach extending from Morant to Negril Point. To guide its operations, the investigative branch has crafted a plan of objectives for the 2015-2016 financial year. In the meantime, CTOC's existence is expected to bring out savings for taxpayers, as the merger now allows for different groups to share resources and tactical skills in a more direct process. What we have sought to do as a policy from the high command of the JCF is to move some of the persons that would normally be available to us back to territorial policing in the main and to try and enhance the capacity that we have to be able to achieve similar greater effectiveness. Arresting the onset of emerging criminal activities, destroying a decades-old issue of gang war, while working effectively within a tight economy. All these efforts by CTOC certainly fit in with the government's strategic priorities for the 2015-2016 fiscal year. Our plan really is to contribute to uh, enhancing the security environment of our country and to recognize that the days of operating by your own in silos that is now not the way, but to explore and enhance collaboration and partnership. A smart move by the Jamaica Constabulary Force as we seek a safer society in the 21st century.